to legends, lore, hauntings, and more with your hosts, Polly, Shelly, and Shelby, coming to you from the Berg. And we're here to talk about anything from true facts to urban legends and much more in between. So if you have any encounters or stories you'd like us to talk about, send it to legendslorehauntings.more at gmail.com. And if you like what we're about, rate, subscribe, and share. With that being said, let's get into it. Okay, how are you ladies this week? Doing great, thank you. Amazing. Get- Amazing. <laughs> okay. So, I have a question for you. How often do you dream? Never, okay, I have an issue with this. I think... You think? It's okay. because... I don't know why. I thought it was because I was getting older, but every I know older people that dream. I can't remember my dreams at all. I know you're supposed to dream every night. Like someone told me, you do dream no matter what every night. But I can't remember any of them. That was my next question. Do you remember your dreams? Yes. Do like, you? Like always? When I get to sleep, I usually always dream and I always remember. Mm-hmm. Okay. And do you ever wonder what makes us dream the things that we dream? Always. Me too. I do, yeah. Okay. I don't know why I asked that because I don't know the answer. <laughs> I think it has something to do with our subconscious mind. I think I so do too. too. I do too. I do too. I don't know the answer. <clears throat> okay. But when I dream about my husband, it's weird because usually when I dream about him, I dream about him. Like, even if it's like a today dream, when I see him, he's when I first met him. You know what I mean? In your dream? Yeah. Oh, so he's younger? Yeah. Like, he's oh. It's like, yeah. Aww. It's like he doesn't age. He's when I met him. Was he better looking then? What? In your opinion? I mean. Well, younger. I mean, well, I mean, he was young. Know. He I looks, know, he looks exactly. Younger people look like babies. To, to right? Me, yeah. like, to me, like, yeah. he looks exactly the same, only younger. You know what I mean? Yeah. You are a good wife. So. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. I Not that he say. looks old now, but he just looks. I'd be like, shut up, I need to go back to sleep. Just more <laughs> same. You know more what I mean? Mature, yeah, he's, the same. yes. Yes, exactly. You know what I mean. Whatever. Like, I still see Dan's dimples and stuff. Right. You know what I mean? Okay, Even well, first, yeah. you guys can just. Okay. <laughs> and Shelby vomits in her mouth. Okay. I wouldn't do that. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> okay. Or another weird <laughs> one is sometimes he'll be my first, my ex husband. Like one minute he'll be my ex husband and the next minute he'll be him. Like it, it which is so weird. That I, is weird. Like I don't know why he does that, but then he'll I, I don't know. And if you do know why, anybody out there I have a feeling, but I don't want to talk about it. Okay, I don't either. Because <laughs> I know what your feelings would be, so don't. <laughs> but if anybody it has bad, like, just nothing that everyone needs to know. Right. But okay. if anybody out there does our inbox is empty at uh, legendslorehauntings.more at gmail.com. Feel free to write in and let me know. Do Anyways, it. yeah. So, but they're not bad dreams. They're usually good dreams. So I'm guessing that maybe the good parts from both like you know, it's connect. Like a, a good sign. Like, yeah. Well, like your ex-husband was your husband at one point, so you're still going to have him in your subconscious mind. Right, yeah. And That's yeah, true. Mm-hmm. yeah, and it's weird because he he passed away, so, oh, so which is weird that you know he's gone and my husband obviously is not. Right. What is your ex husband doing in these dreams? Do you ever like? That's what I'm saying. It's like one minute he's Rodney and the next minute he's him. Rodney's right. You know? Yeah. Weird. That I don't know. Weird. I don't know how that happens. But I or... think the subconscious well, and memories are just strange. They're I know. so weird because you are the one that has it and you don't you can't figure it out. Right. So yeah. how can anybody else help you figure it out? Right. Well, I know, but some people like can tell you what what your dream. I want to meet them. Why you're yeah. Well, I have out dream there. dictionaries. Dream interpreters. Yes. Holler. Yeah, exactly. I have like dream dictionaries with like that tell you supposedly what certain things mean. Like if you dream of birds or if you you know this or that, but. Oh, and this is the part. Maybe she could look through that and maybe decide. <clears throat> yeah, I know there you are know dreams. I mean? But while I was writing this, 
I was in the truck. We were going to Indy. I was like, you should not drive and write. <laughs> no, I was riding with, yes. I was riding in the truck with Rodney and Trevor. And while I'm writing this and telling you about my husband passing away, this song that I can only take a second. That was Hardy, Hell. Give Heaven Some Hell, came on as I turned up the radio. That's yes, freaky. I just did too. Yeah, talking about my ex-husband being passed away and visiting me in my dreams came on. Yeah. I just got a whole idea. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Kawinky Dink? Yeah. Or as Shelby, or Shelly would say, or a God wink. A God wink. Yeah. I, I go with I think that. that's a God yeah. wink. So, out of all the people that I've lost that are close to me, so far my ex-husband ex is the only one that's ever come to visit me in my dreams. Yeah? Aww. What if because he's an angel? Yeah. yeah. Well, or does he, like, have unfinished right, like, business? business? In limbo, and he needs to apologize to you to move on? Uh -huh. Oh. No, that wouldn't one. be it, because... You messed up, No, too? because... No, because... Oh. <laughs> No, because we were friends before he passed, so there's really nothing to apologize for. So anyways, um, I guess one of my questions, let's see, where was I? Da, 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 da. The, oh yeah, so why do people who pass on visit some people in their sleep or other ways? Trevor, what are you doing? something um why do they choose to or not choose to contact people in the living and just what the heck goes on beyond the red door good Yay. question mm -hmm. yeah so a lot of times i have dreams about specific people that i haven't heard from or heard about in a really really long time but then within a week or two i'll either hear from that person or like my mom will say hey, guess who died, or hey, guess who just mm. got a hold of me, or guess who I just ran into. It's weird, you know. I, or, I believe that that is just, I think everybody's born with some type of psychic ability. I think so, too. Yes. Yeah. I think you're, we are all, it's like in our DNA, yes. you know what I'm saying? Your third eye and your crown chakra are, like, open. Yeah. yeah. Open. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. And some people, everybody has it, but some people don't know how to utilize it. Some right. are black, some are, you know. And some right. just don't even have to utilize it. It just comes. Yeah, that I'm Because right. they're super them. open. Me too. And speaking too. of that, thanks a lot, ladies. Ever since our talk, mm -hmm. I have not been able to fly. Thank you very much. <gasps> You're kidding. No, I haven't got to fly Have you yet. thought about it too much? I haven't so. really thought about it, but now that I think about it, I haven't flown since I've talked to you. Thank I'm you. sorry I took away your Anyways, wings. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you took my wings. Well, I can't even drink. Let me find <laughs> right. bro broken halo with you golden wings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. Uh, what? Yeah, we're so jealous. I had to balance it out. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Um. Let me see. So, what do you dream about? Do you remember them? And do your dreams come true? Spookily. Fun fact, if you dream you're falling while you're asleep and you don't wake up before you hit the ground in the dream, you will die. Just kidding. I was like, <laughs> I think so. I don't know if it's true. <laughs> it's just a myth. <laughs> okay, so who wants to tell their weirdo dream? Now everybody's quiet. I've told mine. Shelby, you said you had a dream. Well, yeah, when I was okay. younger, I used to have this reoccurring dream of driving, and I, there'd be people in the car, like my brothers and friends, but I'd always go off of the bridge. You know how they have the... Mm, I'm scared of bridges. I and don't for like, like them. And for like a minute in my dream, it'd be like a roller coaster we're first on, and then all of a sudden, I'm driving, and everybody's in the back seat, and I would go off the freaking bridge. It'd be like a bridge, you know, art, and with the metal thing, so you don't go off. Right. The guy the would just yeah. straight, right, go right off, and I could just... Feel myself falling and everybody else and then wake up. That would happen all the time for like a certain Sorry. time period. Okay, now during that time period, was there a lot of chaos going on in Always, your life? Always, yeah. Okay, because <laughs> a lot of times dreams are symbolic of, so maybe you felt like you were out of control. 
and you can, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, and you were losing control. That makes sense. I don't know, because that's how a lot of people interpret dreams. But how would you interpret this one? Or is that the end of it? Or do you, yeah. that was all of it? Will you write that in to that me? I can so I'll have something in my inbox. What? What you just said. About dreams? Yeah. Will you write that in to me? So my inbox won't be empty. Yeah. At... <laughs> we need legends some lore. legends lore haunting top more at gmail.com. It's empty. But, uh, Thank you. Next. All right. Ben has a dream. It's just, it's not weird. It's just kind of funny. I was at, I imagine I was at SummerSlam, and then Brock Lesnar was mad at me, so he was gonna chase me down. And I was by the commentator tables, and I was like, "No, don't hit me!" And then Roman Reigns taps him, and then Jimmy Uso gives him a kick to the face, and he's like, "Don't mess with the raging redhead, Oos!" And then we walked out like we the ones, and held our fingers up like we the ones. Raging Redhead. That'd be the a really Raging good Redhead. Name. That would be a good one. Yeah, that's copyright. Don't steal that. I'll sue. <laughs> <laughs> no, you say copyright jo- pending. Yeah, I'll get copyright pending. pending. Yeah, I'll get Johnny Cochran on you. <laughs> right. So I have two weird ones, and they might gross you out, but I'm in. All right, <laughs> I'm glad you are because they're gross. Yes. Okay. One of them, I was with a high school Somebody. friend of mine. This is a dream. This is not real. Ew, high school. We were on Adams Road, which is a road that I used to live by, by Knollwood. And by Primrose, which we will talk about in a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's in the dream, we're on Adams Road going up a hill. And we're in a, for some reason, we're in a white Corvette. I'm in the passenger seat. My friend, she's driving. We go up the hill. We don't see that there's a car in front of us stopped. So we slam right into the back of them and we're going fast. I fly out, like, I feel the glass scrape my face. I fly out of the window, and I land on the road, and my body just, like, my face scrapes against the road, and I feel my face peeling off when I woke up. Did it hurt? It, when I woke up, it was like, oh, my God. Oh my I thought God. it was real. I'll, that's one that I'll never forget, and that happened, gosh, I was in probably high school when that happened. And then I had another one in my late 20s, where and it was more like apocalyptic it was creepy um there was this field and there were do you know like in neighborhoods they have those green big green electrical boxes Mm -hmm. they're like they were army green and they're you know for the electric or whatever well they were boxes like that but they were more like crates but they were metal boxes and it was just an open field and it was like crate every 20 feet crate crate and there was fire and everything all around. No buildings, nothing. It was just like desolate, like desert with like a little vegetation. I mean, it was so real. And then we were told, me and four of my friends had to each individually get in those metal boxes and they closed it and then they heated the boxes and I felt my face melting off and I woke up. Yeah, it was cool. Wow. Some meaning to it that. was freaking. Why is my stuff. face peeling off and scary melting? Movies. Off? Working on that. Scary movies. Scary movies don't scare that is me, crazy. man. crazy. I love watching scary movies by myself. Like I don't understand. Like what's the deal with my face peeling off? Like. Yeah, no way. But yeah, those are just the two creepiest ones I've ever had that I will wow. never forget. And I never. They didn't reoccur. Oh, that's good. Ah. But I did have a reoccurring dream that was really silly. It was like. Every scenario was different, but it was always the same staircase. No oh my gosh. What, okay. When I was little, I had that too. It was always a staircase, and it was always different, but the same staircase. Yes. And I can't even remember. And this where it's was from. a staircase that was like it had white, white rails. White rails. That's weird. And then it'd go up, and it was almost like a loft room. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you know, when I stopped having that dream, I've had that dream like my whole life, and I don't know. I'm like, what the hell is this house? I've never been in a house like that. What in the world? My son started hanging out with his cousin, my sister's sister's son, okay? And they live in, uh, where is it? Constantine. Constantine. They used to live there. Well, they used to, but anyway, they had a house. I'd never been there before. And she came to pick Benjamin up to spend the night with her son, and then Dan and I were to go pick him up the next day. So when we went to pick him up, as soon as I walk in the house, there was that staircase, and it was either Colin's room or his older brother's room, one of the two. And when I went up there, it, I 
felt like I was in my dream. That's gave me And I've chill. never dreamt of that staircase so since. Wow. Ever. You but why would it. I dream of that? Why did I dream of a white staircase? I don't know. Wall? And do you still dream of no, it? No. When I don't dream anymore. Oh, that's right. Do you get adequate sleep? Mm-hmm. And I don't, I'm not a light sleeper at all. Maybe. Well, maybe you sleep too deep or something. I don't know. And you can't re- retain. And I wake up at 6 a.m. every day. I cannot help it. See, Dan's like that. Even on the weekends, it. he's up at 4 a.m. I hate it. Because he has to get up. In the week, so I also, your internal clock it gets acclimated to, yeah. Yep. Like the sun. I have medicinal stuff. <laughs> As a what? No. Oh, yeah. Well, this medicine the doctor gives me, but I don't think it will make me not dream. Maybe it just makes me sleep too hard. You know, when you have really terrible, terrible dreams is when you try to stop uh, smoking cigarettes. I haven't tried that yet. <laughs> no, I quit for seven months. And Dan and I both did. And the dreams, that I guess it's your body detoxing mm-hmm. from the nicotine or whatever. The dreams were like, like I said, apocalyptic army, horror, like mm-hmm. even Dan had them too. And it's your body detoxing. Like, well, and I had quit drinking at the same time that I had quit smoking cigarettes. That makes sense. Mm, and we both did. Yikes. Because Dan quit, too. So we were detoxing, uh, and we had the worst And you're both still worst alive. Whenever I would get off my meds. <laughs> yeah, I know. We, we didn't both kill, didn't each, kill other. each other. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Whenever I'd get off my meds, I would dream and for a couple days. Well, that makes sense yeah. because your meds probably slow your... They did whatever to my brain, and then right. I'm detoxing from it. Right. That makes sense. Maybe because I'm medicated in general. That's probably why you, you don't dream. You are too, right? You have like anxiety stuff, right? Why do you get to dream? I'm so special. Fly Maybe you're. I well, dream. no, because I think your third eye is way open too. I don't know. I think I'm it is. I'm starting to rega- think that because really? I don't dream. Yeah, but I, have, that's... I have a lot of wire dreams, and that kind of freaks me out. Do you ever drown? No, I'm just always in water. Like having fun or like in a yeah. scary situation. No. Just yeah. a lot of water around me a lot. She's so careful. She's I so know. Careful. All my dreams are like melt your skin. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Or like one minute I'm in. It's, really it, I'm, it's always in the same. It's like always the same place. Like weird. And then I'll turn into another place. My dreams are very I feel like everyone organized. Dreams. Like they're, like, a, they're oh, really? like, like one minute it'll be this this place like a hospital like place and the next minute it'll be my workplace and the next minute it'll be it's always the same places but like say three or four different places but it's always those places you're always going there mm-hmm. do you, are all those places like special to you in some way no you visit them the most uh no yeah. they're like it's always either home work or vacation or where or but not where my, it's not my real home, my real work, my real vacation, my real... In your mind it is. It's just, but it's the same, it's like you know, a like a hospital. Almost. A oh. hospital, a No, like when you're in your vac- dreams yeah. and everything's different, you don't even question it. You're like, yeah, right. this is my house. Even yeah. It's not right. at all. Just right. Like anything exactly. like it. Right, but you feel like it is because Or like someone's your husband, even though you right. know it's not. But right. like in the dream, you're like, exactly. yeah, it is. I'm right. not second guessing, yeah. you know? Right. It's, that's weird, but... Yeah. I do remember that about dreaming. I do remember... And I wish my mom was here, but when you guys, we're going to interview her because she has some stories, you nice. know. And because we lived, our house was haunted. No, my mom, <laughs> my biological, my mother, Linda. But um, she, she, you know, we had that haunted house in Detroit and stuff like that. And so my mom has a lot of stories. But when I was a kid, I don't know, I must have been in first grade. And I came down to have breakfast. It was a school day. And I had a really bad dream about our house in Detroit. We had li- we had just moved to Granger, and I moved to Granger when I was in first grade. And our house in Detroit was that old spooky English tutor. And I had a really spooky dream about it. And I came down to breakfast, and my mom's like, "What's the matter?" You know, and I'm like, "I had a really bad dream." And I was telling her about, and my mom said she just like froze because she had the same exact dream that night like exact wow. everything that happened to me happened to me in her dream like it was insane and my mom to this day she's like I'll never forget that we had the same wow. dream it was so creepy it was crazy. like why you That's know what I mean crazy. like yeah. why 
So dreams just fascinate yeah. me, but they freak me out too because it, it shows you how much more there is to our mind mm -hmm. that we're not even aware of. Right. You know? And they say dreams are really only like 30 seconds long. And so another question is mm -hmm. dreams, are they another actual reality? Like another dimension? And that's as real as this one? Right. But we're just in this one for a little bit of more time that's than that one? That's a good question. I mean, I'm I just do believe curious. in like other realms. You know? I do too. Yeah. Um, and the dreaming world could be the subconscious realm of everybody. Yeah, and it could be like a commonplace thing. You know what I mean? I just feel like that episode of Spongebob where you keep popping in the bubbles of everyone's dreams and stuff. That would be cool. Is this some, I think of Inception. I've not seen that. What? I've had to watch it like four times to get it, but it's Is really it good. Scary? It's about dreams and Inception. how you can control them and stuff. Leonardo. Mm -hmm. Okay. So last week we were talking a little bit about the space elevator. If you guys remember, it's like the, I don't know, they make it out of graphite and it's supposed to be like a ladder or an elevator to go up to space. They call it the space ladder, space elevator. All right, so this comes from the source azomaterials.com. So how does the space elevator work? Imagine that you're standing at the equator. A geostationary satellite has been launched into orbit right above you. From your point of view, the satellite will always be directly above you. Now, imagine that you could drop a cable from satellite down to the ground. Wait, you, stupid question. Yeah. Which equator? Obviously. Which equator? Wait. This there's is our one? one. Wait. There's only one. I mean, in the middle. Like, okay. In the fair. So, from your oh, point there would of be view. Two, right? Wouldn't it be like. I mean, no, this is. I'm showing my stupidity. Me too, because I don't know for sure. I'm questioning. No, maybe there's just Now you one. guys are confusing me. No, right? I'm confused. Because it's a circle. Now, why well, would we cut it, it says, in more? Can you go back and say that again? Yep. Imagine you're standing at the equator. Okay. A geostationary satellite has been launched into orbit right above you. Oh, okay. You. Gotcha. Okay. From your Never point, mind. Gotcha. Okay. From your point of view, that satellite will always be directly above you. Okay. Now... Imagine that you could drop a cable from the satellite down to the ground. Straight down instead of straight up. Then you would see that cable directly in front of you, right? Because it'd be okay. Goof. okay. You could grip the cable and start climbing, you know, climbing up like a rope. Mm -hmm. Eventually, you climb all the way up into space. That's it. That's the whole concept. Even though the concept is straightforward, actually doing it is quite opposite. It will be one of the major engineering challenges of all time, but graphene could help. NASA conducted and funded a study into the space elevator using one of their most respected scientists, Bradley C. Edwards. And according to the findings in his study, there are four basic elements of a space elevator. One, the base station and anchor. Two, the counterweight and the orbital space station. Three, the tether. That's the cable that connects the surface to space and for the climber or the elevator carriage. Dr. Edwards found that given enough money and time, everything apart from the tether could be created with the current technology. Scientists are testing many different methods using graphene. Teams in the UK, USA, and Norway are working on methods of using the graphene. All of these methods are still in the laboratory phase at present time. Whew. Does, did it say how long it would take to get from point A to point B once it's finished? I mean, like, to do the actual travel. Uh, I don't know. I've got fun, or I've got little facts okay. in here. They're not Sorry. fun facts. Well, one it's more just, question. Yeah. Why? Is it, like, safer than a rocket? And like probably not, cheaper, I think maybe. It's I was thinking I cheaper think first, cheaper. but to get it started is a lot. Well, it's going to tell you. Okay. Okay. So these are just some little uh, facts about it. And my source is interestingengineering.com. All right. The idea of the space elevator was inspired by the Eiffel Tower, which is nice. weird. I don't even get it. I don't either. <laughs> okay. In theory, 
It could make space travel a lot cheaper by reducing our reliance on rocket fuel. So that answers that. Yep. Um, in Japan, the Japan Space Elevator Association estimated that a space elevator could be built for just $8 billion. So that's like chump change for, you know, that's right. really, they have trillions, you know what I mean? Right. Do they already have any space elevators? Um, <laughs> Japan's, I'm not going to pronounce this right, Shizuaku, Shiz, Shizuaka University launched a mini space elevator experiment into space in 2018. And then alternatives include a Magler train concept and an elevator connected straight to the moon. I feel like okay. they're trying to keep on with, keep up with Elon now. They're like, oh, he just ties himself. We gotta so, right. We gotta do something. Cause this yeah. is just so this, random to me. Yeah. It's so weird. this is gonna go to from here to the moon. Yep. And okay. then from and then oh, also from here to the space station, which I don't okay. understand because the space station moves. Right. Maybe it's That's just connected all the time. Right. When it's done, it will be connected to the space station. There will always be a tether there. Maybe. You know, because yeah. it's a space station. Oh, yeah. Maybe. I was just going to ask, why do we want to go to the moon that bad? Like, what's our urgency but, to get there? Well, so I want to know what badly. China's but doing on the dark side right now. I was now. just going to say, Japan. They just They're already rocket. going there. Why don't we just talk to them? Well, that rocket they one of just our allies? exploded into the dark side of the moon like two days ago. What rocket? It was a, I don't know what, if it was a rogue rocket or a rocket that wasn't going where it was supposed to, or if they actually wanted it to land there. I really don't know, but they said there was a rocket that was on a collision course, and it was going to slam into the dark side of the moon, and it actually did, like, two days ago. But I don't know any of, if there was repercussions, if there, you know what I mean? Like, right. I think they so need to knock it off. by the time yeah, this is actually made... If it's me. Yeah. By then, they will probably... Well, they're probably, working on it right now. Right. But I'm saying maybe by the time it's actually finished, they'll have... Well, no. Because wasn't there talk already about making it moon like a... a what did I say? Like a per se... They've been talking about that, too. For them to keep going. So then, once they... Like, on their way to stop, Mars. Stop, fill up. Then go to Mars. Right. Okay. Then, if, then if they know they can live on Mars, whatever. Then from the moon, take another, make another to Mars. elevator Ooh. to Mars. So that way we can go from Earth instead of keep flying. Right. Earth then to just like go little, like the Jetsons. Inst <laughs> in, yeah. Instead of making it because you can't obviously couldn't make it all the way from you couldn't make an elevate elevator all the way from Earth to Mars. So you go elevator from earth to the moon and then take a different elevator from right. the moon to mars it's kind of like when you travel and you have like connecting a layover flights. or yes. connecting flights like you said yeah, yeah. but it is going to come to that because mm -hmm. they're already working on it but what i want to know is what the heck are they doing on the dark side of the moon why do we not have any video of the dark side of the moon because and why answer me this you guys why is it that all of their space pictures are crystal clear and we have all this perfect technology, but then when they see anything, it's all grainy? Do you know what I mean? All right, and now we have a story from our special correspondent, Lizzie Lee. Hello, Lizzie. What do you have to talk to us about today? So, I want to talk to you today about the Mandela Effect. It's like a, kind of a conspiracy theory, but not really. So, it is when a mass amount of people believe something happened, but it didn't. And there's no proof? So, like, it occurs when a person believes that their distorted memories are, in fact, accurate recollections. Yes, that's true. Okay. They can clearly remember events that happened differently or never occurred at all. Okay. So, Nelson Mandela, the guy he was named after, many people believe he died in the 1980s. He didn't die until 2013. Right. They believed he died in a South African prison. 
and a lot of people say they remember news coverage on it, a speech from his wife after he died, and so, like, it's Jif peanut butter, J-I-F, instead of Jiffy. A lot of people think it's Jiffy peanut butter, which right. is weird. And then Looney Tunes is spelled T-U-N-E-S, not T-O-O-N-S. Which is weird, because I thought it was tunes like cartoons. Yeah, no. And then, does the Monopoly Man have a monocle? That's the one I can relate That's to the most. That's the one I think he because does. Because I believe he doesn't. He I thought that he one did. Yeah, he yeah me too. Though. Other than that, and the Berenstein Bears one. Spelled. Yeah, it's spelled completely different. I know. They spell it stain, and yeah. I, I I, don't remember it spelled S-T-A-I. I don't know, though. It gets me It gets me thinking. I'm like, maybe it was. I don't right. know. Right, and then that's the thing. But the monocle and the guy, no. no I know he doesn't that have it. He doesn't have one. And every other Mandela in fact, like, he's like, maybe. You know what one is really weird that trips me out the most? Is the moon landing. When he said, they said, Houston, we have a, or not the moon landing, I forget which space. It was some space thing they were on. The astronauts said, Houston, we have a problem. Have you guys ever heard of that? Mm-hmm. They never said that, ever. Where do we get it from? I don't know. I can bring that up later. Okay. Okay. So, the Mandela Effect was coined in 2009 by Fiona Broom after she was at an event for work and she was telling people about her memories and they all seemed to think that actually it was about Nelson Mandela himself, how he had died and everybody thought, oh yeah, he died in the 1980s. I remember that. So, like a mass group of people remembered and dying in the 1980s, but he never did. Right. And possible explanations for the Mandela Effect are alternate realities and timelines and other universes mixing with ours. And so we, I've heard we get overlapping. And then false memories due to internet, false newscasting, or confabulation, which means that the brain fills in blanks of our memories to make it make sense. Oh, I never thought the about that. The only thing that's weird about it is that there's so many people that believe it. Like, they say right, like it how, that way. They're, like, so How sure can so it. many people have the same... Yeah. Right, how can, like, a mass yeah. number and that, remember the same exact and then a mass number doesn't? Right. And that's like, why people what? think that that's alternate like. timelines and universes mixed with ours. And that's right. why so many people remember it. Like some Rick and Morty shit. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I've never seen Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty uh, is so it's all funny. Like, it is, but you have to, it's weird. Too. Yeah, you gotta it's be really open-minded kind of, to watch that. Yeah. Very. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I've heard a lot of weird things about the Mandela Effect. Just, like, I can't even think off the top of my head. Like I said, the, the most, like, Im- not important, I guess, but just the most historic was the Houston, we have a problem. They never said that. Right. What? Then where did it come from? Houston, we have a problem. Do you remember that? Right. I mean, yeah, we stupid? all say like, it. Where, exactly. Why? And it's so odd. Isn't one of them also that beam me up, Scotty, or something? Isn't one of those that? Or not that. Um, the one that got me the most, actually, one was of the Britney Spears' from... Oops, I Did It Again music video. She oh, had with a the freaking thing, mic. yes. She had a mic, and I swear she had a mic. She did, because nope. even the doll... The doll. Yep. The doll that, okay, she did the, oops, I did it again. She was in that red thing. I and she had She had a little white micro, like yeah. a headset, right? It's gone from the video. The doll that there. came out. I want to talk to Brittany. Has a headset. The doll. That's the replica made Brittany. from that video, but that video now it's taken away. And there's a lot of music videos. Have you heard? I can't think if of If you them. look up any of the music videos, there's no mic now. Well, I know, but I'm saying not just her video, like there's a lot of music videos or like movie scenes in movies now that we remember having something and then now it's totally gone or the, the, uh, whatever the line is not yeah, in the movie anymore I remember that. or do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yes. that's what I'm saying. There's describe. one on Star Trek from Star Trek. Was it the Beam Me Up Scotty? It was either that or there was a thing. Don't look at me. I don't like Star Trek. I don't watch it either, but there's a fa- Okay, you guys huh? out you there. Scary movie too, guys? Yeah. You guys out mm-hmm. there. The guy with the weak hand. 
Yeah. And when he's trying to pick her up out the window, grab my other hand, that's my weak hand, or something like that. He never says that. Mm-mm. What? I don't, I've never I seen remember that, him so saying know. it when he was talking about, uh, when he was trying to pick her suitcase up, and he goes, that's when he said it. Yeah. I don't he know, but somebody that? out there, let us know from Star or Trek. Maybe the, I it's a quote from Star Trek. I'm going to look it up right now. And then Thanks the right one I from wanted Scary to write into it. No, actually, I'll look it up. <laughs> Tell me. I'm sorry. It's okay, look it up. Because now I really want to know. There is a famous I, quote I know, that somebody always says from Star Trek, but yeah, and they don't right. say it. <clears throat> right. I also have another one where Febreze isn't spelled with two E's. In Breeze. It's only one E. It's F-R- that doesn't even make sense. I swear. I don't, it's F R B E Z E. See? But see, that's an attention to detail. I probably never noticed before, so I can't or, say There's I know. another one, the Coca Cola. Remember, Coca Cola used to have the little wave? Uh-huh. It's not anymore. It's straight. Look. What? I don't know what you're talking about. It's not a wave. Oh, when we were growing up, wasn't it like a little boop in the middle? I don't know if you guys would remember. Yeah. I like I, this was supposed to be it. part of the wave through it. Yeah. But that was like That's a little wave. That's what I'm saying. Wave. That was supposed to be a wave you through there. See, I'm not crazy. Thank you. Because I'm like, I didn't think they would remember. Well, cause... you're the other half of my brain, so. Oh, no, or maybe we're just like it doesn't oh, you count. Really so okay, what was I looking up, though? Wow, Houston, not Houston. What did you say? Be near? I'm gonna say beam me up, man. Hey, Shadi. <laughs> okay. Mandela. Beam me up, Mandela. Okay. <laughs> and they put in there. Oh, that's All right. so cute. It's beam. She got him. That's adorable. Her friend makes them. Well, I want more. I got a surprise for all of us next week. Yeah, thanks for upping me. <laughs> upping you. <laughs> you guys can one-up each other every I got time nothing for want. anybody. Okay. Yeah. Just keep one-upping. I'll get more stuff. Okay, here we go, you guys. This is from the source. Oh, hell, my eyes. What does that say? Red shirts always, always die. Red shirts always die. Nope, that's not from, the one. Okay, um, but it says... Oh, you know? no, that's the source. <laughs> 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 You're right. Did you know Be Me Up Scotty was never said in Star Trek? It's referred to as the Mandela Effect. I'm which you weird just shit. explained what it was. I I was it says... Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, it says it's a recent refinement of false memory. This is why the famous... The famously quoted but never actually stated Star Trek line, Be Me Up, Scotty, may have come from the Mandela Effect. He never said it. I hate how they say, it's just false memory. Like, oh, <laughs> chalk it up to that, you know, that's it. Right, but how come a million people remember it? And it says, Be well, Me Up, Scotty. False not a casual thing. People, it says, people remember James Kirk clad in his gold shirt, uttering the simple line, Be Me Up, Scotty, constantly. The only problem, it was never stated. Not once, not ever. The original series never saw Kirk ever actually say that line. He said variations, but he never said that line. Huh. And that was from redshirtsalwaysdie.com. All right, so, you have more. I don't, I don't know. Oh, I thought Hi. you said you had more. Oh, well, I had the Febreze one, and then, um... The Looney Tunes, but I'm Curious George never had a tail. Yeah, now that one freaks me out because I, mean, I had a Curious George book, <clears throat> and I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but I, I remember him like. having his tail, like, hooking on to stuff, like, you know, being too, a monkey. <laughs> Getting in trouble, trouble, like, like hooking on to stuff, running away. I don't really know. And why wouldn't... Don't all monkeys have tails? Or do they not have tails? I feel like I want to ask Gabby. She might. She, she might. might. <laughs> she did watch it when she was, she was like her whole two year. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Well, my sister and I had a book about the man in the yellow hat. That's what my ex-boyfriend looked like. <laughs> but 
I just, I always remember him having a tail. That's so weird. See, look. He I, doesn't have a tail. And at the same time, it doesn't look great, but it does look That's Nelson Mandela. Like it could be it. Right. I remember the 2013 death of Nelson Mandela, but I wasn't alive in the 80s either. Yeah, see, I don't really... Yeah, I, was, um, I didn't really pay much attention to that kind of stuff back And when then, Nelson Mandela you know? died, I go, no, oh, I thought he'd been all. dead because right. he's old. Right. But I don't know. There's a lot of stars like that that I'll think have been dead for a while. And no tell, but he's... Sounds like he's <clears> still alive. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. He's always yeah. swinging from stuff with his feet. He's swinging from balloons. Oh, then maybe that's what hands. I remember. I'm just false memories, and maybe I'm thinking of him hanging from a balloon with his hand. And But I thought it was a tail. It's sex and the city, not sex in the city. I knew that, yeah. I had heard that. I never watched that show. I, I watch did. it right now, and I can't tell you if I know. But and I heard. Sketches <laughs> doesn't have a T in it. Yeah, I knew that. S K E C H E R S. Oh, Wait a minute. that's weird. There's no T in it. I didn't S- realize that. Say it again. S K E C H E R S is how they spell it. I'm so unsure. Oh, yeah, I knew that. I, I know. I'm like, do I even know <laughs> I thought there was. Like, I can't <laughs> tell you. I remember for sure. Fruit Loops is spelled F R O O T. Not F R U I T. Yeah, I knew that. I, I, I kind of knew that. I think that's right, because that's what I remember, yeah. the fruit so, loop. Yeah, so this is the most famous one, is everybody remembers uh, King Hen- Henry the, I don't know. Eighth. Eighth. The eighth had a turkey leg in his hand, but he never did. Wasn't there <gasps> one about the Mona Lisa? No, it's this. Oh, no, that's Henry. funny, because, like, I always joke around when we have a big, like, dinner, like, with the turkeys, and I'm like, King Henry. I'm yeah, always, yeah. Look, he never had oh anything God. in his actual hand. Why do people think he ate a big, was he like a big glutton? <laughs> Maybe he was always eating. He killed gluttony the wives. Gluttony was his sin. He, no, he killed the wives that couldn't give him that sons. That couldn't bear him sons. We learned that. If you would watch wasn't the that, Bloody Valentine's special. Wasn't that kind that of That was a cool one. Then? You Thank know, you. oh, speaking of that one. What? When you, when you did birds. Yeah. I was waiting for you to do one about bees. Get it? The birds and the, the bees. The birds and the bees. On Valentine's Day. What I was waiting for you to do. I didn't even think. Yeah. Because I da, just da, found da, a bunch da. of stuff about birds. That's why. And love. About birds. That's, yeah. Birds, birds and love. <laughs> the birds and the bees. <laughs> I got this twang now. She played a country song. And now it's like, every so often <clears> I'll <throat> say, y'all, I'll say a word that's with twang. Like, that's like every Mandela, summer. Mandela. Mandela. Yes, Mandela heart. Heart. Every summer. In some quesadillas and some mandels. Exactly. Every summer for two weeks, we'd go down to North Carolina to meet my dad's army buddy. Mm-hmm. And they had four kids. We had four kids. And my mom said every year, you'd go down saying you guys, and they'd come up, you know, meet saying y'all. Every year, we'd go back saying y'all, and they'd go back saying you guys. Isn't that <laughs> weird how, like, if you're around an yep. accent for so long, you think, you guys, yep. Yep. I was uh, watching That's a odd. show that is, like, it's from like, London, <laughs> British TV, mm-hmm. on... <laughs> Oi, man. Oi. And I was watching it so long that Grandma asked me to find something in her freezer. I'm like, I was saying it in an accent when I was talking back to her. And she was like, I love it. Looking at me I all crazy do. and stuff. I want to have a boy named Harry just so I can say it in a British accent. Well, at yeah. work, if y'all, if you guys ever have paid attention, probably not. Because I always oh, say weird stuff at work. Grandma. But anytime I get cottage cheese, I'm like. Cottage chase. <laughs> oh, I love it. I do. I'm like, I gotta get me some cottage chase. That's what and people love because people in England do that, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, love. <laughs> Don't worry, love. I wish yeah, I could I do I wish I could. Why? Your band? I would come back. Uh, oh, like, like, what'd you do <laughs> there? <laughs> what did you do? Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> No, I wouldn't I blew get that. Up the London Bridge. No. <laughs> you know what? We all need to plan our vacation so it's cheaper. And we stay in one of those big ass Airbnbs. It is cheaper yeah. that way. Airbnb so is cheaper and you can do it so luxuriously. B&B. Okay, no. <laughs> I'm not going with you to a haunted B&B. There's one in Kalamazoo. I was just talking about. We're going to go. We're doing I'm that. sleeping in the middle. 
I'm sleeping in the car outside. <laughs> She's like, I'll sleep at home. You can video it. Skype no, no. I'll whatever. go with you guys, but I'm sleeping in the car. I already tried that. She, said. she goes, I'll just they put a video camera in my place. I'm like, no, you gotta go. Yeah. But if you guys don't want to, I'm not forcing yeah. anybody. No, I, I, I will don't do think it. You should go I, if you don't you want bet, to. But I'm gonna be it. I'm dying to do it. I just, I need somebody to be in boots. Because <laughs> Dan doesn't believe in it. He's like, I'm driving all the way out there just to stay. No. Yeah, because then he he'll see some stuff he can't money. explain. Dude, yeah, and then he'll poo poo it away. He's and already he's not scared. <coughs> oh well, that window's open, but the window's not open. Right. Yeah, he'll just poo poo it away. Be like, well, that was. Because oh, the wind blew it, and it's stifling. Like, mean, there's no way. Yeah. <laughs> be like, well, it was you know my breath or something blew it away. Like, yeah, he would make something up. My dad's the same way. Mm-hmm. He never. Not Ryan. Ryan will be like, did you see that? I love it. <laughs> yeah. Like, why are you saying there's something outside? These are the best pretzels in the world. Delicious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> What'd, you bring oh, uh, What'd you bring this all about? It's like a paper in your hand. It's in the red. Hmm. No. All right, we better go. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Okay then. Wow. Okay. Bye. So, Love you everybody, guys. thanks for listening this week and stay tuned. Okay. <clears throat> and yeah. don't forget, forget, rate, subscribe, and share. And um, one more thing, real quick. If you have any either creepy stories or if you have something you just want to rant about that you think is so stupid, Legends Lore Haunting Stop More at, at gmail.com gmail. and we'll read your comments on a future episode. Thanks for listening. Peace out. Fun fact Did you know about the most famous Mandela effect? It's the collective memory of a movie called Shazam that starred Sinbad in the 90s. Fact is, no such movie exists.